crossover. Thank you for joining us again, Norman. Let's get to know you. Let's talk about you. You are a prominent figure in the basketball community because you've been playing for so long and you've reached certain heights. Talk to, you, talk to us about the people that you've played with because you've played with some great players. Yeah. Uh, first of all, uh, thank you guys for having me again. Mm -hmm. um, so getting to the topic of who I've played with and against, um, first, 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 first player that comes to mind is... Um, Former Raptor, Corey Joseph. Mm, Kojo. Uh, played with him for a couple of years in OBA. Uh, yeah, uh, great teammate. Obviously, I knew he was going to reach some high-level basketball, obviously. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, being his teammate, he was a... Uh, I, I, especially, I liked him because he was a pass-first kind of point guard. So, uh, whenever he saw, like, open guys, he would pass. Uh, giving, giving the go-ahead pass, and uh, he wouldn't, like, you know, ball hog or take couple shots because everyone knew who he was mm -hmm. but he wasn't that kind of guy that was always um a plus to having a talent like him mm. talking about talent you actually you're talented yourself you you hit i remember you were on the toronto all-star you were named as a toronto all-star oh. right <laughs> and you've played in the toronto all-star like the game yeah, as well Canada Classic. yeah so talk about i guess your game if no one knows like about your game and specifically what's what did you do in high school or what did you what were you most proud about your high school career in high school, I was uh, I'm le I'm left-handed, so uh, I uh, I was like uh, undersized, well, undersized guard. Um, I like to shoot the ball. I like to attack the basket. That was my younger days. Mm. Uh, and also in high school, um, my favorite high school moment would uh, definitely be my high school going into offsa. Mm. For the first time ever, actually. So that was the first time. Oh, that was the first time your high school went senior off? men's basketball wow. team ever went to Offset. That was in Windsor. Mm. Uh, we were, I think, we went two and four. Yeah, made it to the quarters and uh, lost. And uh, yeah, that was that's like my favorite uh, moment mm -hmm. in high school. When mm -hmm. when you were young, or yeah, like yeah, when yeah. you were yeah, when you were into You're still young. Yeah, you know, when you were still like you know in your days. <laughs> Did you ever had a player in mind that you kind of based your game on or you kind of looked up to growing up? Uh, back in high school, it would, it would have to be like a manager Ginobili. Mm -hmm. Like back in his prime, I'd say. Yeah, yeah. back in like 06, 7, 8. Yeah. Uh, now I kind of look up to James Harden. Uh, yeah. The lefties. Uh, the you're, lefties. Just looking, you're just <laughs> no, I can see. Yeah. The most yeah. piece back in the day, Morris Peterson. Yeah. 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 And uh, well, obviously I was quicker before. Yeah. And now I just... I tend to shoot more than attack the basket. I also injured my knee a couple times, so mm -hmm. yeah. So um, those were the good old days. Yeah, man, yeah. I miss it. <laughs> and then after your high school career, where did you end up going, or what was your decision process? Uh, after there? high school, I had a couple uh, offers from um, CIS schools and uh, OCA, like mm -hmm. college schools here, but I decided to uh, go straight to Philippines after high school. Mm -hmm. um, I got it. I was offered by uh, San Beda and Ateneo, mm -hmm. and then I went over there to um, do a you know visit and check it out and stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, Ateneo, you know, it's a big school. Uh, yeah, I, yeah. As soon as I stepped on campus, I'm just I'm here. I'm yeah. going here. So that was a big uh, a big accomplishment for me. So I decided to go there. And uh, how yeah. was your experience there playing for Ateneo? Oh, it was man, yeah. I. Uh, I don't know if you guys know, his name is Coach Norman Black. Mm -hmm. he's, uh, he's the coach now of Morocco Bolts in the PBA. Mm -hmm. He left Ateneo, I think, two years ago. He um, won like five straight UAP championships mm -hmm. with them, and then wow. he decided to go PBA. But yeah, going out, like learning from him, it was like, like you know, it was, it was, I knew right away he was like a really, that was one of the big reasons too, because of the coach. Mm -hmm. So like, I knew right away he knew what he was doing. I knew his style of play. I liked his style of play. And the the guys there too like I knew I was hoping like I wasn't only like Phil M or Phil Can, mm -hmm. so talking about other Phil Can and Phil Cam, who was uh, who was on your squad that was another Phil uh, uh, Filipino foreign uh, he was actually you guys saw him play now yeah. but uh, mm -hmm. Chris De Chavez shout out to Chris yes yeah. yes he actually just recently got drafted to the PBA mm -hmm. uh, third round first pick to uh, Kia Picanto mm -hmm. under uh, Coach Cavina he's also from New Jersey. Mm. He's the head coach of the PBA oh, yeah, team. Yes, What's this jersey yeah. right here? What <laughs> Shout out jersey. Tell us, tell us a little yeah. bit about it, yeah. Yeah, tell yeah us. We, we just recently won. Uh, yeah. You guys were there. Thank yeah. you guys for coming. Yeah. Shout yeah. out to championship game. That was pretty cool. I told him, yo, guys, 
look at the top, they were shooting again. <laughs> yeah. And like, oh, wow. So, yeah, um, it was fun. Uh, what you call it? Um, being Canadian, I'm playing for a, U- a U.S. Yeah. team. Yeah. Uh, some guys in the area actually tried to protest me, believe yeah. it or not. Oh, wow. Yes, because there's actual rule <laughs> that yeah. says... Yeah. You need to be within the area of the oh, city wow. you're playing for. Yeah. So that got me nervous. I'm I'm on the plane and I'm getting texts like, well, I'm yeah. protesting you. I'm gonna you know. Oh, people are texting yeah, you. Yeah, really? yeah. But I don't know if they're joking or yeah. serious. But yeah. yeah. It's the Filipino humor. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna yeah. protest you. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. So I got there um, to the registration day. Yeah. They had they actually had my uh, face crossed out. No. Yeah, and Chris actually had Chris's name crossed out only because they thought he was a pro. Oh. But he wasn't a pro yet, yeah. so um, obviously we were we were good. We talked to the commissioner, yeah. and uh, he let us play, and uh, we went undefeated. Yeah. Um, who do we play against? Windsor, Central Jersey, and Sepag. Yeah. yeah. Day one, and then day two, it was Chicago twice. Actually, yeah, it was just Chicago, Chicago twice. twice. Semis yeah. and finals, no quarters and then finals because mm-hmm. we had to wait. Yeah. So yeah, that was a good game. So. Yeah. Obviously, yeah, yeah. you guys saw there, and you can obviously. How did it. how did you uh, end up playing for? Uh, how long even though? No, like, oh, yeah. How did how did you end up playing for so like a Chris, team? That like I said there? earlier, so I played them in the Philippines, yeah. yeah. And we just kept in touch throughout the years. Oh, you know, oh, yeah, nice. I'd go over there to Jersey and uh, play in different tournaments with them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, last year, you guys were there as well. So last yeah. the Naba, it was there as well in Spooky Nook. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That Chicago team that beat them. Yeah. yeah. They were all pros. Oh, oh right? yeah, I remember. Yeah, they you know, were really, yeah, oh, they're all pros, man. Yeah. And uh, yeah. they're like, yo, Norman, man, come play for us. Like, come play with us so we can yeah. beat these guys. I, was, I'm, I only agreed yeah. so I can beat those guys. Because yeah. Yeah. They, 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 they beat us the year before when yeah. I played for North York. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so I was like, oh, I'm, gonna, I'm there next year. So I ended up going and then found out they're not here. They're not playing. There's another Chicago team like you guys saw. Oh, like, wow. Yeah, I was like, oh. That would have been such a good game. Oh, that would, yeah. oh man, I was, that's what I was waiting for, man. Yeah. Let's talk about more about your Philippines, uh, I guess, experience. Can you talk about, I guess, for you personally, like the culture? Like how did you, you know, familiarize yourself with the culture? I don't mm. know, the language, the, the fans. Ateneo was a big school. So yeah, what was that perspective of being with the top, you know, the yeah, top yeah, four? Yeah, you know, yeah, for I'm sure. It, it definitely took a lot of time. Um, mm-hmm. I was there. Uh, I could like I understand the language, yeah. like I understand it completely. But speaking it, I'm yeah. you know. But then and then some of the guys, like some of the players, they didn't really like understand, like you know. Yeah. Yeah. So um, if the biggest part was the communication part. Mm-hmm. So um, skill wise, oh, they can they can play with the best of them. They're yeah. fast, like um, competitive, mm-hmm. and. Uh, so yeah, so it was just the communication part. But then obviously eventually when we got to know each other, I got to learn like their tendencies and what they say off the court. They have some like, they have uh, Filipinos there, they have like sayings when they play basketball. Like, oh, do they? Yeah, well they have like, you know, like. What were the ones that you like, kind of thing, uh, like, remember? Say, or what? the ones that you They don't say like, too big, do they, when yeah. they shoot? <laughs> basa. Uh, you say like, basa. <laughs> uh, what's the word, they like, um, Chamba, I don't know if you heard of Chamba. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They say, like, that stuff. And if then, it's, like, they think it's not going to go, or they yeah. think, like, you yeah, can't make yeah. that. Yeah. And then, uh, what's another word? Uh, when they block someone, they say piso or something like that. Or, <laughs> oh, yeah. really? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, it was fun, man. Yeah. I miss it. I miss it out there. Oh, so yeah. Definitely yeah. miss it out if there. You, if you were to, I don't know, if you were Norman again, like, 10 years, not 10 years, I don't know how, whatever, when you were just starting, yeah, yeah, what, yeah. what advice would you give yourself now knowing that uh, you went through it already. Like Number you, one advice yeah. definitely would be is just focus. Yeah. Focus, focus, focus. Know why, like, focus on what you're there for and mm-hmm. what you want, like, what you want to achieve is, which is playing in the PBA. Yeah. So just, you know, don't get caught up in other stuff and yeah. the partying, the nightlife, yeah. the, you know, like... It's distracting. We're all, it? man, it's, it's easily, you, get, you can get easily distracted. So, yeah. Um, yeah, man, just number one, just focus. Just You're there for a reason. You're there to achieve something and just mm. do it. Nice. Wait, when you look back at it, there was something that you felt like you did right when you were there. Oh, like, I did that. Like, Say it again. When you, were, when you were, like, you know, back then doing all that. Yeah, yeah. What did you feel like you did right and you were most proud of yourself? Uh, I competitor, like, competitor. They knew me as yeah. uh, that guy where if I, if I um, played a couple more years that I can help them get, like, more championships. Mm. I knew I knew I'd give them a lot of help. Mm. Um, 
Actually, I don't know if you guys heard of him. His name is Kiefer Ravenna. Oh, yeah, Kiefer. So yeah. he's like, they call him the phenom. Yeah. So anyway, so the, the, his first year after high school of playing at Teneo would have been my, my like, first year of playing. Oh, so you would have played? Yeah, so it would have been like a one-two combo one, two, kind of thing. So. Damn, that's yeah, big. Yeah, yeah. What would you, last, last kind of advice, there's a lot of Filip Filipino Canadians that are now there. Yes, What yes, would yes. you give them advice? Because they're about to play against them. So what would yeah, you yeah. tell them about the competition over there? Uh, it's work hard. Uh, they're super aggressive. Um, don't don't try to do, do too much. Listen to the coach, yeah. and just you know play your game. But just you know just just know that since you're a film or Phil can, you know the local guys are gonna. I guess you can say they're they're going after you. Mm -hmm. They want to uh, they want to beat you in any possession and yeah. anything on the court. So you know just focus um, and play your game. Listen to the coach. Mm -hmm.